So today, we're going to be unboxing and framing the D23 promo collection cards. This went on sale recently for 100 USD. But while I do that, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to share my experience trying to get this in New York City. It wasn't great, and I think there's a lot to talk about. Now let's back up a little bit. The launch of this promo set happened at the Disney Store in Times Square and at Disney Parks. My friends and I decided to go down to New York City in hopes of getting one. Before the launch, we were told it was very dangerous to line up before 6 a.m. and that no camping was allowed. Any other details like stock were just simply unavailable. Despite that warning, we found a line was already forming before midnight. So we decided to go ahead and join that line. So the night went smoothly at first. We talked to people near us and we were all just here for the same reason. And we were all exhausted, but it was pretty much a good time. I don't remember the exact time, but I want to say around 2 or 3 a.m., there started to be some serious discussion about the possibility of people cutting in line. So, so after some discussion, it was decided that we would hand out tickets with numbers written on them to mark what place we were in. My group got numbers 39, 40, and 41. Now here's where things get a little bit complicated, and unfortunately, my information here is hearsay. Apparently, the person that was first in line was there before the store closed. They were told that Disney would not honor any line formed and that it was up to us to handle anyone cutting. Basically, they just didn't care if it happened. So, while we created these tickets, officially it didn't matter to Disney. And again, my knowledge of this part of the situation is hearsay, but this was communicated down the line multiple times by those that were told this. Before talking about what happened next, I want to be very clear here. I do not blame the employees for what happened. It seems that it is Disney policy to not recognize any unofficial line, given that we saw similar problems reported at other places. And in general, it seems to not be an uncommon occurrence with Disney. So the employees were doing their job. It may have not been what we wanted, but not only were we told their policy, but if they had done what we wanted, they may have been putting their job at risk. They were in an impossible situation and ultimately following Disney policy was their only course of action. Some people on Reddit have started to share the manager's name and I feel like this is entirely unacceptable and it is turning the situation into a witch hunt. Now, as I already mentioned, I'm going to be framing these cards. So we're going to go over them as we talk about this. We have the first card, which is Mickey Mouse from set one. So after the tickets went out, until about 8.30, things remained smooth. Remember that the store opened at 9 a.m. By this point, the line had grown significantly. It had to be split up because we were blocking other businesses. I don't have an exact number, but I believe the tickets were given out to about 125. That is just how many tickets they had. And I had heard some numbers of around 300 people at one point. Someone on Reddit, however, said 700, but I can't confirm this. By this point, it was becoming somewhat common that people would walk by asking why we were in line. Some would say what it was, and some would just say Disney. But we were starting to get some attention. Remember, we were in Times Square. Ahead of me, there started to be some arguments with people that were previously not there, claiming that they had been in line since the beginning and that we were not letting them in. And this was just false. We had all been around the people around us for at least eight hours. We knew who was around us, but we also had those tickets. They were clearly resellers. Later on, we heard multiple times them talking about buying sneakers, and they even had no idea what this cost in the first place. This honestly felt like a well-rehearsed and practiced process of cutting in line. They even tried to claim that at 4 a.m., they were told to disperse by police. And again, we were there at midnight. That did not happen. Here's my thing. While I would not have loved a reseller being in line with us and getting the product instead of someone else who wanted it for themselves, if you had actually properly been in line since midnight, more power to you. It sucks, but at least you played by the rules and there's really nothing we can do about that. Looking at the second card, we have the Cinderella from set two. 
What is worth is that it wasn't just one or two people. It was a fairly large group, and it was clear that they were trying to cut in line to get the product to resell. And this was getting heated. The police were called, multiple Disney employees were out and were trying to mediate the best they could. We tried to explain that we had these tickets, but again, the Disney employees could not respect those tickets. And it turned into a he said, she said situation. We have Ursula Deceiver from the third set. The police also tried to mediate. I don't know if the existence of the tickets were properly communicated or not, but they also didn't seem interested in the tickets. I think they could have done a better job, but I also don't envy the situation that they were in. I heard some talk that they were apparently threatening to shut down the store and the entire thing since other businesses were complaining. So we get to about the time when the store was set to open. Many of this group had just pushed their way into line. I was separated from my group. I honestly didn't know what to do. I did not want to risk moving away from the side of the building and then myself be accused of cutting and then not getting what I stood in line for since midnight. The Disney employee started going through the line, handing out tickets for what we wanted to buy with numbers on them. My number ended up being around 55. As a reminder, my original ticket number with my group was 39, 40, and 41. So that is a rather large jump of people getting tickets that should not have. Now, I do take some comfort in once the manager got to me, he asked me if the person in front of me had been there. And I said no. So they skipped him. But that didn't get rid of everyone else. Just one person. So before me, at least 10 to 15 extra tickets were given out to people who were not in line. Bruno Magical from set four. What happened after me, I don't have a full picture of. At the point of getting the ticket, I was then in the process of getting in the store and then buying mine. But I have some bits and pieces. I do know that at the end of the first part of the line, before that split happened, to avoid blocking too many businesses, some of the guys that had been kicked out just got in the end of that line. I even saw one of them come in as I was leaving. So there was clearly more line cutting happening after what I saw. And then according to some information on Reddit, once some people got their tickets from Disney, their number was 30 more than the ticket they were originally given. So there was a lot of cutting in the beginning of the line. The situation was made infinitely worse by the limited stock, which again, we did not know about until the store opened. The Disney store in New York City only got about 200 boxes. So only about 170 people who stood in line properly got the product with at least 30 cutters and resellers getting it instead. And yes, it sucks that the stock was so limited, but those 30 people should have gotten a box if we did not have people cutting in line. And frankly, it's not super clear to me why they bothered to do this at all with such limited stock. From what I can tell, the parks got in the thousands of boxes. Disneyland, where D23 is actually happening, seems incredibly well stocked. People were reporting on Reddit as the day went on, just being able to walk up, no line, and get multiple boxes. Penelope. I love the art on this cart. The Disney store in New York City is clearly not set up to handle anything like this. They likely thought that they were throwing people a bone that could not get to the Disney park. The situation ended up just being frustrating for everyone involved. Personally, if a set like this were to release at the New York City Disney store again, and honestly, I'm not convinced that it should, and maybe the product should just be at the Disney parks. Even though we did see similar situations happen at the parks, at least they have the stock to make it less of an issue. One of two things need to at least happen. Number one is more stock. I mean, this is the, this is the easy one. The cutting would have still sucked, but if stock had been less of an issue, that no one would have really cared at the end of the day, if everyone in line could have gotten one. Or two, Disney should officially recognize the line with an employee likely sticking around to manage the line, handing out tickets officially. That would have removed this issue entirely. And I think both would be great, but at least one of these needs to happen to avoid the situation in the future. Now this is the card that I'm most excited about because this is from a set that isn't even out yet. We have Oswald from the sixth set. 
The fifth set just released a couple days ago. So I love this. I love Oswald. I love the art on this. I even got a picture with Oswald in Disneyland. And I'm super excited for this to be here. But those are just my suggestions. I'm curious, how would you improve this? Let me know in the comments and maybe someone will see it that has the ability to do this better in the future. I thought about ideas like a virtual queue, but I'm not sure how that could avoid bots from just getting all of them. And if you were there or dealt with the situation at Disney parks and you choose to email, just remember that the problem was not the employees. We should not start a witch hunt against them. This is a Disney policy issue. So here we have all six cards. I really like this frame. I have other frames similar to this. This one is magnetic. This is my first time doing a magnetic frame like this. But the frame options for six cards, there's not as many of them. I love that they, that they did this set. Obviously, I'm never going to play with these cards. They're going to stay framed. They're going to go on the wall somewhere. I haven't quite figured out where. But I'm super excited to have this. Um, I know some people are going to be like, oh, why did you take it out of the box? It's like, I didn't buy it to resell. I don't, the, the value of it isn't it sitting in a box in my closet. It's having it out. I like this. But that's all for today. Most of this video was wanting to talk about what happened in New York because the situation could be better. And I want it to be better because I want this to be able to happen again in the future. And I'm worried that they could see this and say, it's not worth it. And now the only option is to fly eight hours, which would be unfortunate. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.